Hey, what is going on guys? This is Gumcloud here. In this video, we are going to be talking about two scans that have never came back to Fortnite Battle Royale. That is right, these two scans have only came once, and that once was during their release date. They have never came back. Everyone is getting really mad that why these two scans haven't been coming back. A lot of people are requesting these scans to come back to the item shop, but so far, Epic Games just hasn't brought these skins back. They probably are not feeling these skins, but I don't know, everyone is requesting these skins to come back. And if they brought these skins back, Epic Games will make a lot of money because there has been a lot of hype going on for these two skins because they are becoming really rare and not that many people have them. And people might not get the chance to have them, or maybe they will, or maybe Epic Games will bring them back as a surprise. Now before we begin the video, I would just like to thank you all for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. That is really crazy. I never knew that one day I would reach 1000 subscribers, but I have an amazing audience. You all have been supporting me from the beginning. Thank you all very much. I'm really excited. And now I, I, I felt really bad that I've been posting for about a week or more. That is because I've been on vacation. So if those of you that have noticed, I haven't been posting for about a week because I've literally been on vacation. I haven't got the chance to post a video and I realized like I really need to post a video now. I need to post a video badly. And now is the chance I'm going to be posting a video about two skins. Now let's get on with the video. Thank you all for watching. Alright guys, so one of the skins right now we are going to be talking about is the Battle Hound. That skin has only came once during Fortnite Battle Royale. And everyone has been asking for that skin to come back. Because first of all, it only came once. At least every skin, even the holiday skins come back at least one more time. This skin only came once and that was during its release date. All holiday skins come back at least one more time. But this skin, I have no idea why, but it has only came once. Maybe people didn't like it, but let's get on why people didn't like it later on. Okay, so let's just talk about right now how the Battle Hound looks. As you can see here, the Battle Hound, he's wearing like an old chest plate and he has green tattoos on his arms. He has a wolf like helmet on. You can't see his mouth at all or his face, but you can see his green eyes. He has like green light eyes, which I think is really cool. And he came out during the item shop when there was an axe pickaxe called the Silver Fang. I already showed you that in the beginning of the video if you've seen it. That is a sword. It's, it's like a sword basically. It's Silver Fang. That's what it's called. And the daily items were, as you can see, reanimated. Hyperion, Icebreaker, Desperado, Pure Cell, and Jolly Roger. That was the only time, guys, that um, the Battle Hound has came during Fortnite. And there has been a lot of speculation on why it hasn't came back. Or maybe it's a holiday skin. Okay, so if you click on the Battle Hound, it would say it is part of the lock set. The lock set, lock basically means warrior. It's part of the warrior set. And that means it's for the, because if you all didn't know, the Bell Hound came out during St. Patrick's Day. It is supposed to be a St. Patrick's Day holiday skin. And I'm starting to, like, it makes sense for it not to come back, but there, but wait, I'm going to get with, on with the point that basically it makes sense for this skin to come back. It makes literally no sense for a skin not to come back at least one more time because talk about the Christmas skins. The Christmas skins are holiday skins, of course, just like St. Patrick's Day, which is also a holiday. But the Christmas skins came back later on. I forgot what the day was. They came back again later on on a different time. So there is a girl skin called the Highland Warrior, and it is a skin that's also part of the lock set, and it came out during St. Patrick's Day. And that skin has been coming out many, many times. It is even in the item shop today as I'm recording the video. And that skin, like I mentioned, it's already part of the lock set. And uh, there's also a glider that's a part of the lock set. It's called the Sigil. And that has also came back many times. Like I mentioned, they are part of the lock set. The Battle Hound is part of the lock set. It literally makes no sense for the other skins like the Highland Warrior and the Sigil Glider to come back, but the Battle Hound hasn't came back. And that pickaxe that I was talking about, it only came back one more time. It still came back again, uh, that pickaxe. So it makes sense for the Battle Hound to come back one more time. How are you going to release another uh, Highland, like, how are you going to release another lock set skin, which is a St. Patrick's Day skin, but you're not going to release the other St. Patrick's Day skin, which is the Battle Hound. So it does not make sense. People are really furious about like, why are they not bringing the Battle Hound back? And this is one of my reasons why it probably hasn't came back. Okay. So as you all know, the Battle Hound has a cape. That's right. The Battle Hound is a skin that has a cape um, on, his, on his back, but there is a catch to it. That cape is not a back bling. So that, that skin, the Battle Hound is a legendary skin, but it does not come with the back bling. So you cannot take out the cape. You cannot put it on different characters. And people have been really pissed off about like the cape not being a back bling. And people said they are not going to buy the skin because unless they make it into a back bling, which the um, cape, if they make it into a back bling, people are going to be buying it. Since it, it since it hasn't became a back bling, no one has, not many people has have bought it during the item shop release. So that's probably why Epic Games, they haven't released the Battle Hound again because they're probably not going to make it a back bling. Or maybe they are working on making it a back bling. 
Maybe they're making the cape a back bling as a surprise for, so people can buy it. Or maybe they're waiting so the skin can get really hyped because the skin hasn't came out in a long time, right? So there has been a lot of hype about the skin. So once it releases, Epic Games will make a lot of money off the Battle Hound. And that is the skin, guys. While that is basically one of the skin that hasn't came back. And now let's get on with the next one. Now, the other skin we are going to be talking about is the Power Cord. That is a skin that has also only came once to Fortnite, and that was only during its release date. This skin also, just like the Battle Hound, has never came back again. And to be honest, this skin isn't even part of a holiday. This is what makes it different than the Battle Hound. This skin is not part of any sort of holiday, so I don't understand why the skin hasn't came back yet. It's been forever since this game has came back, and that's what makes this skin really rare. You barely see anyone in the match that has a skin. And now, even though the skin is rare, this skin has one of the best back blings in the game. And that back bling is called the six string. It is a guitar piece that you can wear on your back. It is a large pink guitar. And I think that guitar is really amazing. To be honest, I regret not buying the Battle Hound and I regret not buying the Power Cord because I thought they would come back and I would probably save my money for next time they come back. But wow, was I wrong. That skin has not came back ever since and I regret not purchasing these skins. If they came back in the item shop again, I would instantly purchase them, especially the Power Cord for that amazing back bling, which is a six string pink guitar. She also has a pink armband on her arm, which is really cool. She's like a pink character, basically. She has a black shirt on. She's a rock star girl. She is amazing. She has pink hair and she has spikes on her hair. This skin's actually really cool. At first, I didn't think it was amazing until I realized like, wow, the back bling is amazing. Like sometimes you would just buy a skin for its back bling and that's exactly what I would buy the skin for. But wow, was I wrong. I would like to rock this with my Skull Trooper or some other skins because that pink guitar is amazing. Like everyone's missing out if they haven't purchased it and I'm missing it out myself. I would like Epic Games to please bring out those two skins, the Battle Hound and the Power Cord, because those two skins are getting becoming one of the most requested skins in the game. And I would really appreciate it if Epic Games would bring back those skins because it would make a lot of people happier. And yeah, those skins are amazing and are they are starting to become really, really rare. I have never seen a lot of people using those skins. Every time I'm playing in the main lobby or I'm in the actual match, I never come across a Battle Hound and I never come across a Power Cord. Like I mentioned, those two skins are really rare. The Battle Hound, it, I have a feeling it should come back like because one of its other skins has came back many times. The Battle Hound needs to come back like I already mentioned. And the Power Cord is not part of the holiday. Power Cord is not part of any holiday. It just randomly showed up in the shop. And that is why it is weird that the power cord hasn't came back yet because it makes no sense to not bring the power, um, power cord back in the item shop because it's not a holiday related thing. And maybe Epic Games will bring it back as a surprise. You never know what Epic Games is trying to pull off. Maybe they're trying to like hype the skin also a lot so people would buy it more than usually because the rarer the skin is, the more hype around the skin and the more the people want the skin. Maybe they're trying to make the power cord really rare so that the people can buy it as it comes back. Because what if it comes back as a last chance? You never know. That's what Epic Games is probably trying to pull off. So everyone, if you like this video, please give a like and hit that subscribe button. And watch out for those two skins because they might come back one day as a surprise. Watch out for the Battle Hound and watch out for the Power Cord.